TV9 News is continuing to push for answers after a two-vehicle crash killed four people in Cedar Rapids. Now, that crash happened December 1st on C Street Southwest. A woman, a middle schooler, and two teenagers were killed. But Cedar Rapids police have yet to give any other information on just what happened. And KCRG TV9's Molly Swain joins us now live in the studio with what we know and what we don't know tonight. The biggest question Cedar Rapids police have left unanswered so far is how this happened. Police told me the cause is still under investigation, but we have heard from people who live in that area of C Street Southwest, just south of US 30. They say speeding is a problem on that stretch of road. I spoke to one woman about what she witnessed a few weeks before that fatal crash. I thought, you know, if I didn't get out of the way, I definitely probably would have gotten hit. Kylie Meskimen told me about one night in November when just driving home felt life-threatening. I was extremely afraid. Meskimen said she witnessed two car street racing down C Street Southwest. I noticed that there was a car on the opposite side of the lane and then on the right side of the lane, like they were racing each other down the road. She said she was at this light at the entrance to Aegon Asset Management. When it hit her, what was going on? You know, I thought they were just passing each other because it happens a lot over there but that's when I realized that he was not going to slow down and they weren't going to get over and I had to get out of their way or I was going to get hit they were just flying down the road. Meskimen said she's seen racing here a lot. On C Street it's like really bad for drag racing over there. I've seen multiple cars doing it. Cedar Rapids police won't say if drag racing played a factor in the crash on December 1st that killed four people. When I asked police if speed was a factor in the crash, a spokesperson would only say the crash is under investigation. We do know that Casey Krager and Carter Cooper, both 18, along with 52-year-old Ruta Takesti of Cedar Rapids and her 13-year-old son, Baruch Mahari, died in that crash. The only way we know Mahari's name is because his school and a GoFundMe identified him. Police have still not confirmed his name or which car everyone was in. Police have not shared a timeline for when the investigation might be complete. In the studio, Molly Swain, KCRG, TV9 News. And it is somewhat unusual to have so little detail so long after a fatal crash like this. For example, this crash on Highway 30 in Cedar Rapids on November 17th killed a 21-year-old driver. And by the next day, police did release his name and said a medical condition likely caused him to drive off the road and crash.